The video we are about to watch reveals the performance differences between two popular low mass systems, StapleUp and WarmBoard. In our first test of StapleUp, we compared both systems using 120 degree water temperatures, and StapleUp simply could not perform well. So we tested the system again, this time with 145 degree water. We controlled variables by setting up the two systems side by side under identical test conditions, with the exception that the StapleUp had 50% more tubing. The differences in performance, even with higher temperature water and closer spacing, will become clear. While the actual test time is reflected in the running clock at the bottom of the frame, this video has been sped up to run in a few minutes. The heat supplied by a radiant system is measured in British thermal units or BTUs per square foot. The bar graphs to the side of each panel reflect the average heat output of each test panel as time elapses. Let's watch the complete video now. 10 BTUs per square foot is a common heating requirement on an average day in winter. Warmboard reaches this requirement in about 20 minutes. The high water temps are easily seen in the tubing, and the rest of the surface has begun to heat up. Even with very hot water, 19 minutes into our test, the staple up system has barely started heating, and is barely producing any heat at all. Let's continue. After an hour, staple up is producing the necessary 10 BTU output, but the surface temperatures are wildly uneven, with much of the area still producing no heat. Meanwhile, Warmboard is producing 23 BTUs, with much more even surface temperatures. After 90 minutes, much of the staple up area is still producing very little heat, and yet, Warmboard is outputting double the BTUs with far more even surface temperatures. Let's examine the numbers. Warmboard reached the ideal temperature in 19 minutes compared to 1 hour and 3 minutes. The surface temperatures of the Warmboard panel were almost three times more even than the staple up system. Since human skin has difficulty perceiving temperature differences of less than 3 degrees, staple up systems will subject you to noticeably uneven floor temperatures called striping. With only 2.2 degrees of variation, Warmboard produces no noticeable striping. The clear winner here is Warmboard. Even with the higher water temperatures necessary for staple up, when looking at response times, performance, and even surface temperatures, there's just no comparison. When it comes to comfort, Warmboard is much better at producing the right amount of heat right when you want it. 